Okay, so apparently you get teleported back um, when you when you save and quit from a divine beast. I didn't know that, so apparently we're back here. It doesn't make a difference, to be perfectly honest. Uh, it just means that before we go into the boss uh, and get the last little terminal, I think they're called, uh, we can we can go ahead and grab some chests which we did not get. So there's one here, and what we're really looking for. Oh god, gee, uh, you didn't see that. What we're really looking for is just some arrows, to be honest. That's the only thing I really need. See, it's just Ancient Spring is just not what we need right now. We need other things. Ah, <sighs> blimey. me. We need other things. So, we should be finishing this in this episode. That's the boss room. Uh, untraditional for Zelda game. The boss room is just always open, uh, if there even is one to begin with. Um, pretty sure the other three of the Divine Beasts don't have a boss room. Purely because they just are the beast itself, or, or not the beast itself, but they just take place where the beast is. So I'm just trying to remember where the last one is. If I am correct, ah, there it is. I gotta get all the way up there, because it's where the fire is. Okay, okay. Right, let's... Oh, I'm gonna have to reset everything as well, I completely forgot, okay. Uh, was it about here? It's probably about there, but what I can do is just go up here for a sec. See if there's anything up there that I can get. Oh no, I think it just goes to the boss room, actually. Huh. Oh, there we go. Look how perfect that was. Oh, I'm amazed. Whoa, he almost screwed that up. Hey, look, there's some goopy goop. Gotta love that goopy goop. Mm mm mm. Okay, how does one get up there? I genuinely have no idea. I forgot. I guess I must... I think I need to get onto here. So I think I need to actually lower him down again. And actually go to the very top with it this time. At least I think that, that's the only plausible way that I can think of at the moment. And I've done this before, so... <clears throat> Yeah, I'm not too sure about that. I am sorry uh, for the constant, like, coughing, almost. For whatever reason, uh, my throat is, like, a little clogged up. Oh, wrong one. So, yeah, not too sure what's happening there, but it is. So, I apologise for that. So, let's just go over here. Um, we'll do it gradually. Oh, he's doing his little shimmy again. We'll do it gradually so we don't end up falling off and, and killing ourselves. Yeah, you don't have to... Right, let's go actually, like, over here now. Execute. Uh, okay. He's just moving. Because... Yeah, there are things on the top, so I might just do this real quick. Oh, God. Uh, uh huh. Okay, let's just go over here. Yay! <gasps> no! It's badly damaged. Have I used it that much? I don't remember using it that much. There's a chest over there which I now cannot get to. Uh, a bit annoying, but it's probably nothing over. It's probably it's probably another ancient gear or spring or something, which is kind of useless. Um, okay, so I think I'm gonna have to waste some sort of good arrow here. Don't. Why am I using this bow of all the bows that I like have to use? Gonna have to use that, because otherwise it's just irritating. Uh, right, now, if I actually get in the centre to make this easier for myself. Uh, opening a little roof, I think this is what we're doing. Uh, doesn't go that far. Okay, so now we've opened a roof. Now we need to just set it back a little bit. I don't know how far we need to set it back, so this could be a lot of trial and error. Yep, needs to be more than that. I keep pressing the wrong button. But it's probably a better angle that I can see from here, actually. Uh, where... Okay, that's still not it. Clearly, it wasn't coming through. We should start actually seeing the water there. There's water. Did I do it one too far? I think I did it one too far. <laughs> 
Is that good? There we go. Look at that, and then the fire is just gone. She's just she's gone. It's just gone. Okay, so now we can go in here. Grab the last terminal, and apparently the water stops. I should be getting burnt alive. She is like authenticated. You've activated all the animals and you can go to the main control unit. Thank you, Mifa. Oh, yeah, you've actually say that yourself. Thank you. Again, thank you for saying the obvious. Anyway, so there was actually a little chest down here, wasn't there? Yeah, there's a chest here. Let's grab whatever this is. Please be some arrows. I just want some regular arrows. Mm. See, I've got spears that have better damage. And durability, probably, so... just don't need it, do I? just don't need it. Anyway, well, I mean, I can't see why we wouldn't, but... Yeah, let's go straight to the boss. So let's, uh, let's do a quick save. Because I don't want to... If I should die, I don't want to end up... I just spilt that. <laughs> I just spilt that all over myself. Great. Um, do we have any other armor? Like, I think I do have some better armor at the moment. Yeah, I do. Oh, what am I saying? Yeah, phantom armor. <clears throat> Hell yeah, so I've got an extra load of attack bonuses. Uh, I will use the clay more. Wind cleaver's good. But actually, I might as well use just just use it uh, for one hit. There's no point in not. Um, yeah, so here we go. This is the boss of Divine Beast Varuta. There's going to be a pretty cool cutscene here, which is probably going to lag, like, a lot. It did in the original, so it most likely will now. And again, I said that at this point in time, I can't be bothered with skipping, like, cutscenes like this. I don't care if they're copyrighted. I don't make anything from this anyway, so I'm not overly fussed. And Nintendo are f uh, aren't too stingy with, like, giving strikes. They give strikes, obviously, but they, um... They just say, ah, oh, yeah, okay, we'll just put an advert on yours. It's fine, don't worry about it. Water, Blight, Ganon, Scourge of Divine Beast of Art, Ruta. Re really? I didn't, I didn't gather that from, you know, the hair. The little glowy thing in the centre. His spear. Just didn't get that. Oh, look how sick I look. That's pretty cool. Well, it's good that someone does, because I don't. Anyway, so, in terms of the Divine Beasts... Yeah, they, all of them... Yeah, this is not gonna do... Oh my god! Oh my god. If I... Hang on a minute, let me just start... Oh my god, okay, we've already started the second part of it. <laughs> I feel almost a little bit bad. You're not meant to have armor that does this at the moment, so I feel like I'm kind of giving myself a little bit of a um, helping hand. Meh, who cares? You really? Thank you for that great bit of insight. Right, I if it's the same tactic, then I'm going to need stasis here. Flop. And I shall use something um, a little less. Something with good durability. This does, but... Uh, yeah, why not? It's got good durability, so it should be okay. Oh, that actually changed to a... This as well, just... Boom! Just hit him in the face and it's all good. <clears throat> right, let's quickly equip. And now we should just be able to go bash back. Wow. Seriously, you can only do so much damage. Right, fair enough. Let's see if I can hit some trick shots with thunder arrows. Those do a lot of damage. Ow! That doesn't do as much damage as I thought it would. Wow. <laughs> My voice is so dead. I'm sorry. I'm, I will try and get rid of those or make those quieter. <gasps> he regenerates health. What? Oh my god. Okay, that's new. Good, 
Oh. Well, okay, apparently he's just kind of... Boom and boom. There we go then. That is, um... That's Water Blight Ganon. The regeneration took me a little bit by surprise. I completely forgot about that as a whole, to be perfectly honest. Um... Yeah, I think I came into that a little bit over-prepared. Um... In terms of weapons, you can have weapons like that at this stage, because you could, like, completely deck yourself out and have all 120 shrines done by this point in the game. Um, but, and, and I guess the same kind of does for the armor. Obviously, it wouldn't be the armor, it would be the barbarian armor if it was regular uh, modes and without DLC and stuff, so, yeah. Got a, got a heart container. There are only four heart containers in this game, and this is one of them. Uh, all the other heart things you get from the shrines, uh, and the stamina vessels um, as well. I shall take that. Life force has been strengthened, yeah. So now we've got eight hearts? Yeah. <laughs> Duh. Eight hearts. Seems pretty good. And now we can just go ahead. This is going to be a little lengthy cutscene. You will, not be a, you, you will not be able to re-enter the interior of the Divine Beast. Do you still want to activate it? I'm drinking. Yes, I do. <sighs> Didn't spill it that time. That was good. Hello, ah! Your My spirit is now free. And Rita as well. This will be copyrighted. Like, I'm almost certain this will be copyrighted. What, what part wasn't copyrighted? To be with you once again. None of the cutscenes going into the Divine Beast were copyrighted. Not too sure. Oh yeah, that's Mifa, by the way. Just, yeah. She's all fish. We never saw her. Uh, well, we've only seen the statue. Um, because we skipped the cutscene. Yeah, she has healing powers. I, I think I mentioned that before. That was what the whole flashback was all about. She was healing Link with her healing abilities. So, in typical Zelda dungeons, you end up completing half the dungeon, you get an item in said dungeon, and then you're able to complete the rest of the dungeon. In this, <coughs> you complete the dungeon, and then you get the ability. Or, well, yeah, in this case it's an ability, not an item. Because uh, all the items you just get anyway. I'm sorry for speaking over this, but... Um, Otherwise, it's a bit boring. For the rest of eternity. But now you're here. All this time, my hope. In case no one has noticed yet, and from the previous episodes, um, Mifa has a little bit of a crush on Link. So, um, yeah. Fanfic writers, um, go wild. <laughs> um, that's all I can say. Yep, she's going to stay here, pilot the Divine Beast, and it should be all good. Except she's trapped here, she's not coming out again. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to try, hopefully, maybe. Uh, oh, I've just realised that Ganon will as well. Oh boy. So... That was Divine Beast Varuta, and now we're going to have one of the one of really cool cuts. Why is this taking so long? Um, it's a loading screen technically, but I've um, okay, here we go. N no, still loading. Um, here we go. This is one of the cool cutscenes. <clears throat> I might even take the face cam off for this, just so you get the whole picture. Eh. Or I might not. <sighs> just so you can see my lovely face. Yeah, apparently he can just... <sighs> this always baffled me, to be honest. Hey, there's a shrine there. Always baffled me about how, the ha how this happens, but... Um... Apparently it does. Apparently he just sinks to the bottom of the reservoir that he was in and just comes up in the river <laughs> and now he's just swimming along 
Don't think he's going to get through that narrow, narrow passage, though. Not sure about that one. I also have no idea how we actually managed to get on top of this mountain, considering how steep it is. But don't worry about that. That's just, um, that's why they didn't want to animate it, because they knew it was screwed up. Anyway, oh, he's looking at the castle. Oh, he's got tusks. It's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. I remember having the same reaction. When I first saw that, I was like, oh my god. Yep, okay, Mifa. Very tempted to skip this, but at this current time, nah, I can't really be bothered. So yeah, we can no longer um, even get near Divine Beast Varuta, uh, because it will literally be like, oh no, Divine Beast is firing at the castle, we should stand back, and then you like teleport like into a close-by facility. Yeah. Well, in, uh, until you get later on in the game and, and you can do other stuff. But anyway, there's Zora's Domain and everyone there is probably thinking, what on earth is happening? Oh, God. Who's the sentimental one? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So the thing is, I think everyone else can see that as well. Not the divine. I'm pretty sure everyone can see the divine beast. It's it's pretty hard to miss. Um, but they can see Mifa as well because in one of the other one of the other races they can see and someone waves at someone or something or other. I I can't remember. Um, so yeah, that's like kind of yeah. Oh, I'm I'm just here. Blop. Awesome. I was only using the mind shield one anyway. We now have Mifa's Grace, a restorative power born from the spirit of the of, cha of the champion Mifa. When a heart, when your hearts run out, you'll automatically be resurrected with full hearts, plus a temporary bonus. Plus, oh, sorry, plus temporary bonus hearts. Uh, I think it's five. Is it five or three? One of those. Uh, and so, what I'm very tempted to do, like right now, is just die. <laughs> uh, and then kind of wait a bit, so this guy has a quest to get flint, I, I think I haven't got any more flint since the last time I checked, so I don't think, oh I got another sapphire, when did I get that? Flint, I have two flint, that is bowling, <clears throat> so uh, I know this is probably running on a little longer than it should, um, and I probably should end it off, but uh, Actually, no, we are going to end it off because I'm pretty sure there's actually a, another lengthy cutscene before the last sort of thing. So I'll do that in the next episode. So I hope you guys uh, have enjoyed. Next time we'll be going uh, up there getting getting a taste, another tasty reward, uh, which I'll probably never use. Um, but um, regardless, and then, we, then we're on our way again. So we've got areas to go to. We could explore uh, this place. We could go to Death Mountain. The choice are yours, so if you have a preference of what era you want me to go to next, then go ahead and leave a comment. Uh, I'll probably just do some more shrines in between, just exploring, getting some more towels done. Uh, but with that, stay tuned for the next episode.